What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video today. Going to be bringing you guys a Q&A, something I haven't done in a long, long, long time. So I thought, why not? You know, I haven't answered any questions really from champs, from anything else. And I planned to do an AMA on Reddit, but I never did it. I might do one soon, but until then, I'm going to be doing this Q&A. Elevator Aqua asks, why are you so good and handsome? Well, the handsome part comes from my parents. You know, it's in the genes. And the good is just from grinding. I mean, you know that, Aqua, you're a beast as well. Muhammad Akbar asked me, are you happy with the state of your YouTube channel? And my answer is no. I don't really want to be fake here. I don't want to lie. You guys know I'm very real. I'm very honest with you guys, especially the audience and whoever watches me. And I'm not really happy. The other day, just like yesterday, I was like, you know what? I have more free time now, right? And I really want to do this YouTube thing. I've been wanting to do it. I'm slowly growing. I'm almost at 100k subs, which is honestly makes me pretty happy. But it's not where I want to be. You know, when you have these goals and you want to reach for the stars and you're not even close yet, it just it's it's something I'm not happy about. So technically, no. The only thing I am happy about is my YouTube channel has been growing. It has grown this year. And I am getting more viewers, more support, more subscribers. So that's really a good thing. That's what I'm happy with. But is this the state? Is this, is this what... You know what I want my YouTube channel right now? Not really. I want it to be better. I want it to be bigger. I want it to be awesome. And that's something, that's one of my goals actually this year and just in general. I'm just going to try to improve in my videos and, you know, start making better content and, you know, just keep growing, continue to grow. Never first place asked me, what is my hardest decision I've ever had to make so far? And I'm going to go with chasing my dreams. Now, you know, when you're in this path of either chasing your dreams or going, to, or going to school or listening to everyone else, like, it's very difficult which route you want to go. Because, you know, everyone's telling you, go to school, do this, do that, you know, make sure you have a good future, all these things. And it's like, you either have to sacrifice this whole side and chase your dreams, or you chase your dreams and you sacrifice the whole other side. And it's been very difficult in my life. You know, obviously I'm in a relationship for almost five years now. I'm with my fiance, we're getting married in two months. And it's just very difficult in general with sacrificing so many things and choosing, you know, dropping out of college and, you know, spending less time with my fiance and just choosing, like sacrificing so many things and, and just really choosing to chase my dreams. I think that's been the hardest decision by far because in times it's, 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 we almost broke up, you know, it's almost ruined our relationship, it's almost ruined my, it's, just, it's almost ruined so many parts of me, but I continue to continue to decide to chase my dreams, and I mean, it goes hand in hand, it's really difficult, but it's, I definitely think that's by far the hardest decision I've ever had to make. UNF underscore Baze asked me, how do you feel going into IW? And my honest opinion is amazing. I watched some gameplay, I haven't played it honest, uh, obviously, but I watched some gameplay, it looks really fun, it looks exciting, it looks pretty much like Black Ops 3, just uh, lowered the movement a little bit and mixed with ghosts. And I mean, honestly, man, it looks, like I said, really fun. Looks, I love Black Ops 3 for the most part. So I'm basically playing a better version in a way of Black Ops 3. So. I mean, when you think of it that way, like, it actually, it sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? So, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling happy, I'm really good at Black Ops 3, so I'm pretty sure the skill will transition to the other game, which is very similar, and I used to be really good in Ghost, so, no matter what, I think I'll be good at the game, I think it's gonna be fun, so overall, feeling really happy. One well asked me, how much you bench? Now, I just started going back to the gym five days ago. I've been going four, I think five days now in a row. I went five days in a row. So that's honestly an improvement from not going for almost a month and a half. And I'm getting back into it. You know, uh, my bench is not that good right now. Uh, so uh, ask me that question in, in another time, in another Q&A, and I'll tell you. Nifty Boy asks, how has life been after winning champs? Now, I got to be honest. It's been amazing. Really a lot less stressful amazing overall. I mean obviously when you win something like as big as champs is just I mean I feel like the earth is just off like it's all this pressure and weight that was on my shoulders and I mean I didn't feel like I have that much pressure, but it just feels amazing Honestly, man, I feel like my life is lately and now it's gonna be a lot less stressful and I just feel blessed and I just no, man, I'm not going to get emotional again. I'm just happy, man. It's Life has been good so far, but I'm not going to stop here. Obviously, I'm going to continue to go hard and just keep making my life better and, and I'll build a better future. But yeah, it's 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 been good. A son, Burnt Ginger, asked me, what do my high school friends think of my career in video games? Well, obviously, I don't keep in touch with every single high school friend, but I do have a lot of friends. And I mean, they obviously all support me. A lot of them are into video games. Uh, they obviously think it's sick. They're happy for me. 
and even even friends that I don't really talk to anymore obviously support me and they see like oh you, like I on Facebook when I won and I think Maria like said something on Facebook and then a lot of my friends like respond and say oh congrats good shit like I'm happy for you and all these things so I mean overall I mean no one really thinks this is that lame I feel like the only person that usually thinks it's kind of lame is a, is yourself like I remember back in high school when I was doing this obviously it's not the coolest thing but a lot of people thought it was cool and I was the only one who thought like it's pretty it sounds pretty lame but I mean, overall, I, they're cool with it. They're, they think it's sick. It's underscore Razak ask if I can join any other gaming team, who would it be? And honestly, I'm gonna have to go with Optic Dog. We talking about, you know, talk, you know, you know, you know, what I'm talking about. Nah, dead ass. Obviously, who wouldn't choose Optic? Amazing organization, amazing players, and if not Optic, definitely Phase. I think those are my would be my two options. But yeah, you know, you know, you know, what I'm talking about Optic. Off the gaming though, yeah. Stitch Slays asks me, are you moving out anytime soon? Well, yes and no, because here's the deal. So obviously I want champs or COD XP, whatever you want to call it. And majority of the money is gonna go to a down payment to a house. So we're gonna actually have our own house, we're gonna buy a house, and it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be awesome for our future. You know, we're basically building our future right now, having our own place, you know, building our life together. So the plan is to buy a house. Now obviously the money takes a little bit of time to come in and then on top of that buying a house is a long process. So we were actually planning to move out very soon like uh, like in the past like the next couple weeks or so but we decided you know what why pay rent in an apartment that somewhere we're probably not going to be happy with and it's going to be very expensive because Miami trust me is very expensive to live in. So we decided you know what let's wait for the money let's just live here a little bit longer and buy a house. So that's the plan. So maybe in like five, six months, it's gonna go through and it's gonna be awesome. Just incredible ass, when you won champs, who was the first person you bragged to on another team? And to be honest, no one really. I, I never, I don't know, I just like being humble. I'm, I'm, I don't like saying that. Like I don't like saying I'm a humble person because I feel like that's something some other, pe like other people should say. But I just like being humble and I just want like the success to make the noise. You know, let the success make the noise. I'm not gonna, uh, that's, I just feel, that's wrong. That's kind of wrong, you know? I'm not, I'm not that type of guy. Burns, he asks, who are your top five players in Black Ops 3? Well, J-Cap, Slasher, John, Scump, Formal. Outpinged asks, when are we getting lunch? Anytime you want, pal. Just hit me up. Let's go. Lunch, dinner. At least call me. Peptos asks, what is the number one thing you want to improve individually throughout Infinite Warfare? Well, the number one thing is... Is obviously I don't really know because I got to play the game first, you know, see what I need to work on and other stuff and there's stuff like that. But I mean, it's going to be everything. I think my communication has improved a ton compared to the past games. Uh, my mindset has improved. Uh, I mean, really, it's just going to come down to playing the game, see what I need to work on. And, and, and I'm pretty sure the game modes are going to be very similar. It's probably going to be hardpoint, uplinks. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna maybe substitute something else for CTF. I'm not really sure what's gonna go down in the game and what game modes are gonna be playing, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be similar game modes. So I mean, I somewhat, I pretty much know how to play all these game modes. It's just gonna come down to practicing and kind of learning a whole new game, learning new things, uh, and just grinding really. Optima asks, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through a wind? No, because I'm gonna put the fucking rock. Ah, uh, da. Alright guys, that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy after you. Hope you all have an amazing day. Seriously though, have an amazing day, man. Life's too short. Enjoy the shit out of it. And I'm out. Peace.